87 Plains Bison from Elk Island National Park are making their way back to the Blackfeet Nation in Montana, where their ancestors were gathered up and saved and moved to Alberta over a hundred years ago. These bison were the result of a Salish Kootenai man that married a Blackfeet woman who then reject his family rejected him because he married into the Blackfeet. And so he and a couple of his Blackfeet buddies got together and said, hey, maybe if we take some buffalo back to your family, they'll let you back in. So they captured these buffalo in uh, these ancestors of these buffalo in 1870 moved them from the Blackfeet Reservation over the Salish Kootenai Reservation over in, uh, on the west side of the Rocky Mountains. And then in about 1907, they were sold to Canada for $40,000 for 300 head of buffalo. And this is where we, we had them initially. Uh, buffalo National Park then got the rest of the animals and plus most of these ones, but not all. We, we left a demonstration herd here. Good thing. Turned out to be the, the conservation herd for Canada because they were looked after and looked after really well. Uh, unfortunately, they eventually uh, uh, got rid of the bison at uh, Wainwright and, uh, and, and decommissioned the park there. So this is the, the conservation herds for the country are in this park. So that's a, the, sh the short history of Elk Island. And so they were, they've been here since. These are obviously the ancestors. And so we're kind of repatriating them, but not really because the Blackfeet covered all of this area anyway. So uh, that's what we're doing today is we're moving them back, at least 88. Huh? Everything that we, we've done in our lives Right from when, uh, uh, when, ha when, before our uh, ancestors uh, uh, met the uh, Europeans, the buffalo had, has always been uh, a really integral part of our lives. Well, it shows just shows that uh, uh, full circle is coming back around. It's very interesting, but in a, a blizzard, a snowstorm, a buffalo turns into the storm, huh? That's an important lesson in life. So those lessons were lost. There were 30 million plus buffalo on the prairies and they were all destroyed. And so when those lessons left, our people turned from the land and turned from the animals. And so now we're trying to return some of that lesson plan back of the buffalo and reinstill pride in the culture. And our young people will come to understand what the importance of this animal is. Oh.